Hey everyone, so today I have another Quiet Exploding Box to show you guys and this one is for Sarah. She should have received this um, by the time I upload this video so I really hope you like it. Um, but I just wanted to show everyone else this Kawaii box because I think it's a little different from what I usually make or at least I didn't include the <clears throat> deco tape holder that I usually make in this one so I thought that was a little different. So I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So um, let's just get onto it. This is the outside of it. Yeah, nothing too special but I really like the lace that's on here. So when you open it that is what you see <clears throat> and the bottom of the cap has my only Rilakkuma on it so you will receive this little kawaii tofu plush and this is actually the last one I have I believe so yeah <clears throat> under that guy will be a little kawaii box and this box is bigger than the ones I usually make which is why I didn't have room on the panels to put a deco tape holder because it wouldn't fit so instead I made this masking tape holder that I will show in more detail a little bit later but let's go on to the middle so the middle has this glittery background um, and there's this box here so once you open that, there is a Rilakkuma cake cream mint. There's the box, nothing too special. But I thought you can put the cake on top if you want. It'll look really pretty, so that's why I didn't decorate it. So um, it is just a Rilakkuma cake cream mint, and I don't want to put it together because um, there are these candles that you can put on there, so I'll leave that up to you on to, as to what numbers you want to put on there. <clears throat> but it comes with these things that come with the remnant. So, yeah. And you will receive the pamphlet that goes with it as well. And it looks like this. So you can fold it up like this and put the cake here if you want to. <clears throat> and these are the ones that you can get. This is the one that's in here. And then um, it also shows you how to put on the candles. So yeah, I hope you like that. So that's the middle. Now onto the side with the masking tape. So I just, I can't really show you guys properly because there is the setup I have. It kind of prevents me from pulling the Kawhi box close to the camera. Or I guess I can try. Okay, well, you guys can basically see it. It just has this little um, masking tape um, that you can still pull and use as much as you want. And I kind of like this idea. I came up with it on my own, and I thought it it is a great replacement for my usual deco tape holder. So I'm pretty proud of this. So yeah, there's two different... Um, deco tapes on here. This one is a paper tape and this one is a washi tape I believe or masking tape. So there's that. The next panel, I'll show you guys like this. The next panel has my only Rilakkuma on it and this is a sticker flake right here. And then the last panel on this side is Simiko Garashi and there's a little pocket here and it has these four images that you can write whatever you want on the little thought bubbles so there's that the next side has a resin piece holder and I included a cute little bear resin charm that is double sided and I will be also including this one um, just in case you want to put this one in there instead or whatever um, so yeah, I hope you like this. And then it's the panel is just kind of decorated. I'll show you guys sideways. So there's that. And then it fits perfectly in there. The other resin piece is actually kind of loose in here because it's a little thinner. But this one fits nice and snug. So the next panel is Sumiko Garashi and it has a little bookmark that I made for you.
And then the last panel has the space Rilakkuma theme with a little envelope that has a paper inside that you can write whatever you want in there. So there is that. The next side has a tic-tac-toe um, board and pieces. So you can just pull this out, which will be your tic-tac-toe board. And then the pieces are in this little drawer that I made. So um, it is pretty much Rilakkuma versus Kiratori, and you can just kind of play tic-tac-toe with them. And then each piece is different. Oops. So, yeah, there's that. And then they're also like in a space theme. And then after you're done, you can just put it back in and slide the little drawer back. So there's that. And then the next side has Tiromi. Um, it's a little pocket and it has this paper that you can write whatever you would like on. And the last side has a polymer clay lollipop that I made along with these nice little gold things. And then the last side has Hello Kitty with a, another polymer clay charm or a polymer clay piece that I made. And sorry I can't really show you that well. <laughs> Um, and then the next one has a bag of sticker flakes, and there's quite a lot in there. And the last side has these page markers and these little post-it notes for you to write little notes on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this kawaii box. I really hope you guys like it, and that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!